This lesson will just go over the different parts of waves to make sure you're familiar with all the parts. What is a wave? Remind you of the tsunamis, the tsunami that we saw last year in Japan? A wave is a disturbance that transfers energy from place to place. You know what energy is, right? Energy is the ability to do work. And work is movement of an object over a distance. What is a medium? Sometimes this word is used with re reference to the medium that carries the wave. This is just the material through which a wave can travel. Sometimes a uh, medium is used in art to mean the material through which the artist expresses their ideas, whether it's on paint or watercolor or sculpture, you know, like clay or mixed media. Those are mediums. When in physics, a wave is a material, a medium is a material through which a wave can travel. Some examples would be air or water or a rope or a spring toy, which we're going to get to play with. How is a wave created? Waves are caused when a source of energy causes a medium to vibrate. How does a boat transfer energy to the water? Well, what is it that creates the movement in the boat? The propellers, that's right. The moving propellers causes a disturbance in the water and transferring energy elicits a wave or generates a wave. What types of waves are there? Well, two main types are transverse and longitudinal waves. And there's also surface waves. These become really important when we study oceans, the way uh, light travels through space, and uh, the way the earth moves in an earthquake. A transverse wave is one that moves at right angles to the direction of the waves. Transverse means across. So if the direction of the wave is going this way, but the motion of the wave is up and down, that's right angles. So that's a transverse wave. A longitudinal wave has particles that move Along, move the medium parallel to the direction that the wave is traveling. In this picture, a longitudinal wave shows uh, rarefaction and compression. Rarefaction is when the wave particles are moved far apart from each other, and compression is where they're pressed really close together. A wavelength, in this case, is the distance from one compression to the next compression, or one rarefaction to the next rarefaction. And in this case, the direction of travel is all this direction. The wave is moving this way, and the compressions and rarefactions are moving that way as well. Here's another picture that shows a longitudinal wave. The wave is moving this way, and you can see the compression and rarefaction going on at the same time. In a transverse wave, the, wa the wave is moving this direction, but we have the motion of the wave going up and down. So from crest to crest, or it's one wavelength, or from trough to trough. The amplitude is from the midpoint of the wave to the highest point of the crest, or from the midpoint down to the trough. And if you have one crest and one trough, that makes one complete cycle. Next word is amplitude. The amplitude is the maximum distance the medium is carrying the wave moves away from the rest position. So it's the height of the wave from the rest. So in this case, here's your wave going through. This rest point here is the, like the equilibrium plane, the, the plane of origin. And this, this is a crest and this is the trough. And so how high it is from the midpoint to the crest or from the midpoint to the trough is the amplitude. And then the wavelength, we've kind of already said, it's from crest to crest or trough to trough, the distance between two corresponding wave parts.
frequency of a wave has to do with how many cycles per second go by a given point, the number of complete waves that pass a given point in a certain amount of time. It's usually expressed in hertz, which is cycles per second or waves per second, and it's the speed of the wave divided by the wavelength. It's also inversely related to the wavelength. So when the wavelength is long, the frequency is low. When the wavelength is high, the frequency, or when the wavelength is small, the frequency is high. Here's a diagram that you should probably have in your notes to make sure that you know all the parts so you can push pause and get it into your journal.